Race 23, the Charles Foot Handicap, my last race of the day, 2 mile 1, Moto 100 Handicap. Pretty Irish Craig Beckwith, Baltic October Pontypool Racing, Lady Well River, Patrick Hogan, Saponic Bell Pontypool Racing, Constant Fret, Paul Rhodes, Green Glide, Adam Holt, Chairman Act, David Hooley, Lassat, Martin Leiden, and Stardelli House Cherry. 2 miles 1, full on race 23, the Telliswood. Handicap and they're off over two miles one. Sandown Park. I've been there quite a few times at Sandown Park. Constant threats in the lead from Baltic October. Usually at the end of August. I used to go there as a young man. We have the Workingmen's Club day trip from Wales to Sandown Park and Nisha. We used to go on the Whitey Club day days. Show some quite good some good horses at Sandown Park. Uh, Baltic October leads, Star Delhi, and Constant Threat, Prickly Harvest, Lady Well River, Supponted Bell, as that, Green Great and Chamin Act. Actually I stood two yards away from Golden Golden K. I don't know if you remember the Hello Hello program. We had all the people who was in it, Vicky Michelle and all them. I stood two yards away from them. And we watched a two-year-old go around, a favourite odds on that day, by the name of Reference Point. And he got beat on its debut over seven films by Richard Fox and Bob Barma. And so I saw Reference Point win his first race and in defeat over seven films. And on the same card, there was a maiden run over one mile six. And I watched the Gold Cup. Future winner picking his duck in that race. I wonder if anybody can say who it was. He won the Gold Cup a couple of years later. Baltic October leads from Lady Well River. But he won well that day, he won by going away inside the final film. Such a good horse. I'll let you know what it is, it's drum taps. I saw drum taps when it asked it when it's maiden. Same day as Reference Point made his debut and got beat in the sample and two year base um, by Richard Fox on Wobbalona from Mactoon, Al Mactoon. Um, which horse was the best horse in the end? Well, it was Reference Point. Because he needed food, obviously. He's a derby winner. Um, Body October leads by two from Lady Well River, Custom Fred. We're playing the call of the day. Sonic Bells moved into four star daddy on the inside. That's that. Pretty Harvest, Charming Act, Green Glade. Um, going towards the five marker. Baltic October. Well, it's a good horse. Not so good these days. But closed in now by Constant Threat and Lady Well River. So Pony Bell. Young horse at five, really. Wonder. Well, the championship as a three-year-old, but he doesn't seem to be getting any better with age. I got the October trying to kick the air, but three or four ends clear. Lady Well, they in second, constant threat. In third, then Lazat, and then Sulfonic Bell charming that quickly. Alice Green Glade started down, he dropped away to be the back mark, and they just go two left to run. Will they get to Baltic October? He's least still by two to three. Lady Well River, one last, well last in Mount, is trying to pick him off. Has won twice this season. Can he get an attrick of wins for the season? Baltic October leads from Lady Well River, who still looks to still be well handicapped by scenes of being up towards the end of good. Baltic October, here comes Lady Well River, is coming through now to pick him off, and he's gone on to win from Baltic October. So Baltic Bell picks up late in the day in Nixford, and then for Prickly Harvest. So Lady Well River denies me on the first and second by finishing second and third with both Bofter October and Saphonic Bell. But they need a full extra aspect. Lady Well River the winner, 4 to 1, Bofter October, um, Saphonic Bell, Pontypool is in second and third, Constant Threat in fourth, Trickly Alvis Craig Beckwith in fifth. I'll see you soon on day three.